this Friday. Hang on. See the film critics call Marvel Studios at its best. Now, listen to them explain why in more detail. Go! Rolling Stone calls it a wild summer ride. It's laugh out loud funny. <laughs> Epic. Really? It's out of this world. Good. Wait, it's out of what? It's metaphorical! <laughs> Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, rated PG-13, everywhere Friday. Just who in the hell do you think you are? Well... <laughs> What's that? He says, welcome to the frickin' Guardians of the Galaxy. Only he didn't use frickin'. Look out! Oh, wow. I tried, guys. The Sovereign, the Ravagers, they all want us dead. That's a really bad sign. The Guardians must be destroyed. Hit me with your best shot. Oh, wow. I know, that almost hit me. Get tickets now. Put your seatbelt on! Die, spaceship! <laughs> yes! That was awesome! So here we are. A thief, one thug, an assassin, a maniac, and an angry little tree. Hold on. cannot protect the galaxy from us. Whoa! There must be some kind of peaceful resolution to this. <laughs> or even a violent one where I'm standing over there. <laughs> Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Get tickets now. The Real D and IMAX 3D. So we're saving the galaxy again? Who else is going to do it? Oh, wow. I know. It almost hit me. There's a thousand of them. And five of us. These odds are terrible. Mm -hmm. We need new odds. What? On May 5th, you only get one chance to save the galaxy twice. Here you stand. A hero. Yeah! A garden of the galaxy. Guardians of the galaxy. No. Why would we be the gardens of the galaxy? <laughs> so stupid. Come a little bit closer. Just who do you think you are? Well... Star Munch. I'm not gonna answer Star Munch. On May 5th. Put your seatbelt on! You only get one chance to save the galaxy twice. Oh, wow. I know. That almost hit me. Guardians of the Galaxy, Volume 2, rated PG-13. The beast hide is too thick to be pierced on the outside. I must cut through it from the inside. Huh? <laughs> no, no, Drax! Wait a minute! Drax! That doesn't make any sense. I tried telling Skin him that. Skin is the same level of thickness from the inside as from the outside. I realize that. Here's a cut on its neck. Rocket! Yeah!
get it to look up. Weird. We've got a sovereign fleet approaching from the rear. Why would they do that? Probably because Rocket stole some of their batteries. Dude! Right. He didn't steal some of those. I don't know why they're after us. What a mystery this is. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, they were really easy to steal. That's your defense? Come on! You saw how that high priestess talked down to us. Now, I'm teaching her a lesson. Oh, I didn't realize your motivation was altruism. It's really a shame the Sovereign had mistaken your intentions and are trying to kill us. Exactly! I was being sarcastic! Oh, no! You're supposed to use a sarcastic voice! Now I look foolish! Can we put the big green on hold until after we survive this massive space battle? More incoming! Good! I'm gonna kill some guys! First you flick this switch, then this switch. That activates it. Then you push this button, which will give you five minutes to get out of there. Now, whatever you do, don't push this button, because that will set off the bomb immediately and we'll all be dead. Now, repeat back what I just said. I'm Groot. Uh-huh. I'm Groot. That's right. I'm Groot. No! Now that's the button that will kill everyone. Try again. Hmm. I'm Groot. Mm -hmm. I am Groot. Uh huh. I'm Groot. No, that's exactly what you just said. How is that even possible? Which button is the button you're supposed to push? Point to it. No! Hey, you're making him nervous. Shut up and give me some tape. Does anybody have any tape out there? I want to put some tape over the death button. Hope you're ready. It'll be here any minute. Is that a rifle? You don't know what a rifle looks like? It's just swords were your thing and guns were mine. But I guess we were both doing guns now. I just didn't know that. Well, that's intense. I see it within you. Fear. Jealousy. Betrayal. It is our duty to cleanse the universe of this weakness. You know, they told me you people were conceited douchebags, but that isn't true at all. Dude. Ah, uh, I'm using my wrong eye. Throat, put your seatbelt on! So we're saving the galaxy again? Yep. Awesome! We're really gonna be able to jack up our prices for two-time galaxy savers. Yes! thing you're searching for your whole life. It's right there by your side all along. You're right. All you do is yell at each other. You are not friends. No, we're family. Except maybe her. After all these years, I've found you. And who the hell are you? I'm your dad, Peter. The fate of the universe lies on your shoulders. Now, whatever you do, don't push this button. Because that will set off the bomb immediately, and we'll all be dead. Now repeat back what I just said. I am Groot. No! Now that's the button that will kill everyone! Try again. 
I am Groot. Mm-hmm. I am Groot. Uh-huh. I am Groot. No! Showtime, a-holes. Ah! over the death button. Nobody has any tape. Not a single person has tape. You have an atomic bomb in your bag. If anybody's gonna have tape, it's you. I have to do everything. You are wasting a lot of time. That's a really bad sign. If I touch someone, can feel their feelings. You feel love. Yeah, I guess, yeah, I feel a general unselfish love for just about everybody. No, sexual love. No, no, I don't. For her. No. <laughs> she just told everyone your deepest, darkest secret. Dude, <laughs> come on, I think you're overreacting a little bit. You must be so embarrassed. <laughs> do me, do me, do me. two types of beings in the universe. Those who dance, and those who do not. I get it, yes. I am a dancer, Gamora is not. You just need to find a woman who is pathetic, like you. Thanks, buddy. Do you need a hug? No, no, I do not. Oh, I thought I said no. A lot of people don't know this, but um, I do all my own stunts. Screw you, spaceships! All right, intensity! So we're saving the galaxy again? Yep. The primary thing with this sequel is really about getting to know the characters in a deeper way. It's really about getting to know Star-Lord and Gamora and Baby Groot. I am Groot. No, that's the button that will kill everyone! Rocket and Drax. You get to know Drax a little bit more. A lot of the witty dialogue. <laughs> you just need to find a woman who is pathetic, like you. Mm. And then we have three new Guardians. We have Yondu. Nebula's a new Guardian to some extent. She's gonna team up with the Guardians because they're rooting for the same cause. And Mantis is a new Guardian. I am Mantis. She can sense emotion, so when people allow her to do something, oh, she does it. You feel sexual though. No, no I don't. For her! No! <laughs> I think this is more of a, a relationship film, and your family doesn't always have to be blood. They can be chosen. All you do is yell at each other. You are not friends. No, we're family. So maybe her. The first movie was about becoming a family. This movie is about being a family. I'm your dad, Peter. <laughs> Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 picks up just a couple of months after the events of the first movie. They've been doing some kind of mercenary style contract work. That's intense. We have a couple of villains in this film. Aisha, 
who is the head of the Sovereign. She's a very sort of powerful woman within this planet. She runs everything with an iron fist. It is our duty to cleanse the universe of this weakness. Rocket decides to be an a-hole through and through. And this, of course, sets the Sovereign after the Guardians. You know, they told me you people were conceited douchebags, but that isn't true at all. Dude. And is the first force that gets them going on their journey. Don't screw the Sovereign. Groot, put your seatbelt on! And then we have Taserface, who is Yandu's nemesis within the Ravagers, who takes over. The new captain, Taserface! <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, your name is Taserface? It's metaphorical! He is a particularly loud-mouthed and brutal oaf. They're so different from each other, and working together to find the Guardians of the Galaxy is really hilarious. There must be some kind of peaceful resolution to this, or even a violent one, where I'm standing over there. Die, spaceship! Hello there, my name is Chris Pratt, and I play Star-Lord in Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy, Volume 2. Welcome to the set. Let me show you around a little bit. These are our props. Look at this. Look at this toy gun. Got my blaster. Oh, look at that thing. You want one, don't you? How cute is that? Go get yourself a baby group. A walkie-talkie. It's called walkie-talkie because you can use it and walkie and talkie. Oh, yes, my very favorite prop of all. I'm so excited to show you. Dave Bautista's biceps. Check this out. Oh my God, feel that, it's crazy. Dave Bautista is an awesome prop. You can climb on him and play with him and tickle him. And as you can see, he really enjoys it. Ooh, we've also got some arrows. Hold that, Dave Bautista. Dave Bautista props the best. Drax's knives, hold those, Dave Bautista. He loves playing with me. Ready to go play, Dave? Let's go. Hey Marvel fans, are you excited for release of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2? Do you think it's going to be as good as the first one? Hmm. Well, did you know that until Deadpool was released, the first Guardians was the highest rated Marvel film? And it was the first movie in the Marvel Cinematic Universe that was written to be a standalone film. There are almost zero references to other objects or characters from other Marvel movies. Now, despite this, some characters from Guardians will appear in future Marvel movies with characters from the Avengers. Who's your favorite Marvel character? Let me know in the comments below. Now, if you want to keep updated on all the latest trailer releases, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to check the notification bell. See you next time.